So now we will see how we can create a navigation bar using Flexbox in CSS. So guys, basically we can easily create a navigation bar that is horizontal or vertical direction using the Flexbox model in CSS. So let us move to the VS code over here and simply we are going to remove the previous lines of code that we had written in the HTML and the CSS files. Now guys, what we will do is simply we will have the div tag with the class that is navbar over here and then inside this we will have more div tags inside which we are going to have the links which will help us in order to navigate through different pages of the website so guys first of all we have the home page over here and then apart from this similarly we will have more links such as blog in this case and then we will have videos as well and then apart from this we will have the about page as well so guys we have the four items inside the navigation bar over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so as you can see this is a default way in which the links that is the a tags are getting displayed over here now guys what we can do is simply we will make this class that is name bar which is the div tag as the flex container over here so let me just copy this class name in order to make this as a flex container we can provide it inside the css file and then simply we can provide the display property equal to flex over here and then apart from this we will have the background color as black color for this navigation bar over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see the items are getting displayed with the dark blue color over over here in the horizontal direction because the flex direction is row by default for this particular flex container now guys apart from this we have the margin over here by default at the top left and the right direction over here so simply we are going to provide the star character inside which we will make the margin as zero and also the padding as zero in this case so guys let me just save this file now this is used in order to remove the spaces at the top left and right direction of the navigation bar now guys apart from this we will also provide certain css properties for these flex items that you can see so first of all we will use this navbar class over here after the dot character and then for the div tag we are going to provide certain css properties over here and then after that we are going to provide certain css properties for the a tag as well inside the div tag which is present inside the flex container so first of all let us provide the css properties for the a tag and then we will provide the color as the white color over here because currently it is the default color that is dark blue color you can see in this case and also we are going to provide the text decoration css property as none so that there is no underline for the different links that are getting provided so let me just reload this page once again on the browser as you can see these are the links that are getting displayed over here now guys for the div tag we need to provide certain padding in this case so let's say we provide five pixels of padding over here from all the four sides let me just reload this page as you can see we have provided certain padding over here for the div tag and then guys what we will do is when we get the mouse cursor on these links over here which is the flex items that are the navigation items in this case inside the navigation bar we want to change the background color of the div tag so what we can do is simply i'm going to copy this line of code over here that is name bar and then inside this we have the div and then on hover event so in this case we are going to use the pseudo class that is hover in this case we can provide the background color over here so simply we can say the value as red color in this case so guys basically this will help us in order to change the background color to red when we get the mouse cursor on the different div tags that are present as the flex items inside the flex container so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser when we get the mouse cursor now on this div tag as you can see the background color is now getting updated to red color over here so guys in this way we have easily created the navigation bar just by using the display equal to flex and then we have provided certain css properties for the flex items which are nothing but the links inside the navigation bar now guys apart from this we can also display these items at the center of the navigation bar as well so what we can do is for the flex container that is having the class name bar simply we can provide the justify content css property and simply we can say center as the value by default the value is start over here which helps us in order to display this flex item at the left hand side of the screen but when we say center value it will display all the flex items at the center of the flex container so when we reload this page once again as you can see all the items are now getting displayed at the center of the flex container over here apart from this if we want all these items to be displayed
located on the right hand side of this particular flex container simply we can say end value over here for the justify content let me just reload this page once again so these are the navigation items that are getting displayed at the right of the flex container over here we can also increase the padding as far as the left and the right padding is concerned so basically we have provided five pixels from all the four sides so we can provide the 10 pixels to the left and right direction so guys basically the first unit is corresponding to the top and bottom padding over here and the second parameter is representing the left and right padding over here let me just reload this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the padding that is increased over here now guys apart from this if you want to add more navigation items over here simply you have to come to the html file and you can copy paste these lines of code over here and then let us say we want another item to be sitemap over here and then the next item that is the sixth item to be contact us over here so guys simply we can provide the different menu items inside the navigation bar let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see automatically the number of navigation items have increased and you don't have to change anything inside the css file once you have set all these css properties with the help of the flex container over here now guys apart from this when you decrease the width of the screen over here so let me just open the console in this case so as you can see when we increase or decrease the width of the screen basically the navigation bar is still being displayed as the horizontal navigation bar how do we display it as a vertical navigation bar when the width of the screen is less than 500 pixels over here so in this case we can simply use the media query over here so what we will do is inside the css file we will use at the rate and then we will use the media screen query over here and then after this we will have the end keyword and inside the parenthesis we will provide max width in this case as the css property and it should be 500 pixels over here now guys when the width of the screen is 500 pixels or below we will be using the css properties inside this media query to be implemented on the web page so guys we will be having the nav bar class over here inside the media query and for this nav bar that is the flex container we need to provide the flex direction as horizontal so guys what this will do is basically the flex direction is row in this case which is the default flex direction value and that is how we are able to display this navigation bar from left to right over here in the horizontal direction but when we decrease the width of the screen we want this navigation bar to be displayed in the vertical direction over here so simply we will set the flex direction equal to column in this case which will help us in order to display all the items in the vertical direction when the screen width decreases to below 500 pixels so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser currently the screen width is more than 500 pixels but when we reduce the width of the screen so as you can see currently it is 502 pixels and then when we move it below 500 pixels over here you can see that the items are now getting displayed in the vertical direction over here and in this way you can easily change the navigation bar from horizontal to the vertical direction based on the width of the screen in this case so guys this is one of the important implementation as far as responsive web design is concerned so basically your web page or websites will be used on different screen devices which will have different width so guys basically the desktop computers and the smartphones and the tablets all have the different screen sizes over here and accordingly you need to handle all these html elements so flexbox model helps you in order to create the responsive web design so that the user experience is better on all the screen devices so guys in this way you can create the horizontal and the vertical navigation bar based on your project requirements with the help of the flex container over here and the media query as well that we have seen with the help of the examples so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is simple responsive design using flexbox in css in which we are going to create a simple ui using the flexbox model in css so stay tuned